welcome to another episode of Daily Hope. Today we are in Acts chapter 4 and I, I, I just have to say, like, as I was reading the first few verses, I just had to stop and I start recording because I'm seeing something that I hadn't really seen before and man, here's the thing, sometimes we can read things and we fail to put ourselves in their shoes. Like we really do that. Um, for example, like in the last chapter where, this is a little bit cricket, isn't it? <laughs> for example, like in the last chapter when, um, when Peter and John, when like they heal that man, like that takes some faith, that takes some trust in knowing who Jesus is. And as I'm, and, but as I'm, as I'm reading these first few verses, I, I, I see some parallels with what happened with Jesus. And I'm thinking, wow, like these, these men had some real boldness. And so anyways, before we get started, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. So you're notified every time we post a video. Amen. Anyways, I'm really excited. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that you will speak to us today through your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for this message. It is a good message, Lord, because it is your message. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. So we 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 start with Acts chapter 4 with Peter and John. They're, they're arrested. They're arrested because they healed someone. Not only that, but because they're preaching they're 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 preaching um well we'll just start so verse one now as they spoke to the people the priests the captain of the temple and the sadducees came upon them being greatly disturbed that they taught the people and preached in jesus the resurrection from the dead this is something that had never been spoken of before like no one had ever spoken of this of like hey there's a resurrection after death in jesus verse three and they laid hands on them and put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. However, many of those who heard the word believed, and the number of them came to be about 5,000. So people are getting saved left and right, and um, and but Peter and John are arrested. And here's what I want to say. Hmm. Here's what I mean by... I don't think we do a great job of putting ourselves in in the shoes of these apostles, of these disciples. And here's what I mean by that. Jesus is preaching the good news, right? Well, he is the good news, amen. But he's preaching the good news and he is doing the signs, wonders, and miracles. Now, well, <laughs> he's doing the signs, wonders, and miracles. And... Um, what happens to Jesus? He gets, he gets taken by the high priests, he gets beaten, and he gets crucified. You can't tell me that these disciples weren't thinking, oh my gosh, they're arresting us. And they're keeping us until the next day for it was already evening. That's what they did to Jesus. They kept him overnight as well um, to be tried, you know, the next day with Pontius Pilate. So I don't know about you guys, but if, if if I'm Peter and John, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like this is the end. Like <laughs> we, we we just got filled with the Holy Spirit. We healed someone. We we preached and 5,000 people became believers. We're dead. I mean, I'm just thinking like, what did it feel to get arrested? Knowing that Jesus had just gotten arrested and, and um, put on trial and then crucified like that. I mean, I I think we severely underestimate the, their boldness. And here's what I want to say, especially as Pastor Drew is going through his his um his series, and 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 we're right along with him um with with our youth group, with our souls of youth group is, man, we're gonna be speaking some things, and people are we're probably gonna ruffle some feathers 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 so to speak. But we have to. We can't be on the side of opinion. We can't be on the side of, of, of emotion. We can't be on the side of theory. We, we can't be on the side of good intentions. We have to be on the side of truth. 
here's what we know jesus is the truth amen and we were talking to us we were talking to a youth group uh, my wife and i we were doing like a table talk and um we we're just talking about how you know e emotions emotions don't set us free emotions cause us to go into bondage when we do what we feel is good in the moment usually long term it's not good um emotions don't set us free it's the truth that sets us free amen and um and so as we're as, as we're going to be preaching and teaching about you know just some real things that are happening that we need to be you know like jesus said you know be watchful be praying you know um recognize what's happening around you um we are called to be the salt of the earth we're called to be the light amen and we're not called to be the light in the church the church is supposed to be the light of the world right we are part of the church and the church is supposed to be a light in other words we're not we're not supposed to let our light shine in the church we're supposed to let our light shine as the church out there and it might mean that people hate you it might mean it might mean that people make fun of you reject you it might mean that people you know say mean things I, it can mean a whole lot of things but we need to be bold in what we preach and what we teach and what we believe and we can't let emotions and opinions deter us from standing on God's truth. Amen. And 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 just one more verse I want to say, and then we'll end for today. Um, verse 13 says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled and they realized that they had been with Jesus. That's what I want to happen. No matter how ugly people get, no matter how mean people get, that at the end of the day, they they see our boldness because because we're because we really believe what we're teaching we really believe in jesus like it's a real it, it's a real belief it's not like a, it's not a wishful thinking it's not a theory no like jesus is the truth amen and i love this that it's that even we'll call it a close call even though peter and john they had like a real they had a close call of men they could have killed us like jesus and they didn't and then at the end, here's what they do. They pray for boldness. They pray for even more strength to do it again. Amen. And that is their honor and their privilege. And church, it is our honor and our privilege to be the light and the salt of the world. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, I thank you, Lord. Whew. Let us be encouraged today, Lord, to be the salt and the light of the earth, God. We don't want to just look good and, and, and act good in church, Lord, but we want to be the church out in the dark world, Lord. Let our light shine in the dark world. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. <coughs> Amen. That concludes today's Daily Hope. Please make sure um, in our description box, if you, wanna got, if you guys want to give, uh, there's a link there for you guys to um, donate to Daily Hope. Thank you guys so much for your generosity. Also, um, our reading plan is there so you can follow along as we're going through the book of Acts. And then lastly... Um, I want to know what was your takeaway. This chapter is so good, so please put um whatever you got or what um what you got out of the chapter, what the Holy Spirit spoke to you. Put that in the comment section. Um, and a whole community, people are heart. Generosity is our opportunity. Excellence is our spirit. Smiling is our favorite, and Jesus is our Lord. We'll see you um tomorrow for church, so we won't have daily hope tomorrow. But we'll see you on Monday for chapter six.